Buenas noches. Hello, good evening, Jose. And Carlota. Noches. Carlota, now I listen to you. Muy bien. Nice to, <laughs> nice to meet you and, and, and to listen to you like this. Finalmente, <laughs> se nos dio de, de poder solventar el problema. El... Buenas noches, muy bien, gracias a Dios. Excellent. Very good, very good. Hello, Jose. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. So we're just gonna wait for the others to start and then we like share, right? Um, we share and we check what we have to do today. Uh, let me project my screen. There he is. There it is. I was looking at Jose, that's why I said he. Um, okay, so we're going to wait for the others a couple of more minutes, and then we are going to um, begin, right? Our video conference number five. Yes, so we're giving the others some more minutes to join, and then we start, and then we work on this together. Yes. Um, vamos a esperar un par de minutos a los demás para que ingresen, ¿verdad? Todavía nos faltan ocho minutos, está temprano. It's early, so then we continue, right? Luego seguimos, ¿ok? Ok, ya todos en sus casas. José todavía en el trabajo, ya en la casa. At home. Ah, excellent, at home, very good. Very, very good. Yes. Nice. And Carlota in your house? También ya en su casa, Carlota? Sí.
Good evening, Carla and Reina. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. Okay, so we're going to start with our class for um, today. We're going to begin our um, session, our video conference number five for today. I hope you are doing really well. I hope you have had an amazing, an amazing day at your jobs today, uh, at your workplace. So we are ready to begin a new class. Welcome once again, dear participants, and we are going to start with our video conference number five which is vocabulary practice, beginner number one, and again, video conference number five. So let's see what we had for today. Once again, welcome. And let's see, today is one volunteer to tell me and tell the whole class what today is, what's the date of today? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Friday. Friday, uh huh. Today, Friday. Friday. July. July. Ninety. Okay. Ninety. Night. Night. Twenty twenty one. Nine. Twenty twenty one. Okay. So yes, there he is. Well, there it is. I don't know. What I'm saying he. <laughs> there it is. Today is Friday, July the 9th, two thousand and twenty one. So yes, let's see what we had for today. This is um, the class objective of today. At the end of these sessions, you participants will be able to know how to practice vocabulary learned during the week. This class is very nice. This session is very special because we have the opportunity to practice, to review, let's say, the vocabulary, those words, those phrases and expressions that we used in the previous four uh, sessions, in the previous four classes. So today we're going to have the chance of practicing more, right? Uh, to know how to practice a vocabulary learned during the week. That is the mission. That is the goal we have for today. As you may remember, we practice a lot of, a lot of topics. For example, just no questions, the alphabet, short answers for questions as well, both affirmative and negative statements, uh, possessive adjectives and nouns. So it's been a lot, right? A lot of practice and a lot of knowledge during this week. So today we're going to reinforce. Welcome to the others who are joining, uh, Ibev. Uh, Lisef, Lucia, and Luz, Angelica, welcome. Good evening. Thank Lisa. you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So we are going to move on, right? Yes. If you don't mind, we are going to move on to what we have for today. Okay. So this is what we had first, vocabulary practice. So we're going to practice the following questions. I am presenting to you some specific examples of questions, right? For you to... Uh, remember them for you to extra practice them. These are related to the yes and no questions. So based on that practice is what we are doing today. Practice the following questions and we have this. Is Karen an English student? Are you a pizza lover? Are they auditors? Is she an accountant? Is he your boss? Is he the supervisor? Are you from El Salvador? Yes. So all of those, as you can see, all of those I'm presenting to you, all of these questions, they are just my questions. So basically, um, we're gonna take this time to review them. We're gonna take this time to practice them once again. And we're going to check um, like how to provide the right answers, if they are short, and things like that. That is what we're going to do today. So questions about these questions, to say it like that, any new word for you based on this? Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario de estas preguntas? 
new vocabulary that you see that you detect from these questions, participants? New vocabulary, vocabulary nuevo que vean estas preguntas. Yes, no? No, no? everything clear? Yes, everything clear. Everything clear. Very, very good. Okay, participants, what are you going to do? Very simple. In your notebooks or in the piece of paper you have next to you, please write down three similar questions like this. For example, is Karen an English student? You can change that and you can say, is Karen an is Karen a graphic design student? Es Karen un estudiante de diseño gráfico? So I want you to expand the ideas in other words. These are just examples. I am presenting to you simple examples, right? Uh, is Karen an English student? Are you a pizza lover? Are they auditors? Is he, is he the supervisor? Examples. So transform them, use them as reference and create new just no questions examples based on this. Okay, students, is it clear what you have to do? Está claro lo que vamos a trabajar en estos momentos? Yes. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Yvette, clear? Lizeth? Mm -hmm. Everything clear? Okay. So do it please in this moment. Like three or four questions are enough, right? They are good. Three or four questions, they are more than enough. They are really, really good. Please elaborate them. In case you have questions, let me know, participants, so I can help you, right? Feel free to ask me questions, as many as you want. Finish. Finish, very good, very, very good. We are just waiting for the others to finish up and then we check together. Yes, then we're going to socialize our questions. Yes. Okay, dear uh, students, uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna check um, your attendance. I'm gonna call your, uh, I'm gonna call you based on the attendance for today. Uh, if you are like alert, please just say present. Mm -hmm. Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. She's here. I, I saw Carlota, but she's having problems with the microphone, yes. Claudia Lisette Garcia. Diana Margarita Campos, Benitez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Iliana Idalia, Serrano Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Jose Iván Portillo. Iván, Iván Portillo Marquez. He's not here yet. Uh, Carla Patricia Pineda Lopez. Yeah, so she's present. Yeah, there she is. Uh, Crisia Vanessa Enriquez Monterroso. 
not present yet. Uh, Lizeth del Carmen Pineda Ventura. Mm -hmm. Present. Lucía Gabriela, thank you. Lucía Gabriela Vázquez Mengíbar. Present. Present. Uh, Magdaleno eh, Escalante Orantes. Yeah, I am present, teacher. Excellent, very good. Mauricio Isaú Calderón Esquivel. Raúl Oswaldo Ramírez Fabián. Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura. Sara, ok. Sara Judith uh, Miranda Cruz. Present teacher. Very good. Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana. Y Beth Ramírez. Castillo. Mm -hmm. There she is. Verónica Yasmín Ramírez Ramírez. And Yesenia Elizabeth Carcamo Serrano. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you Present. very much. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, did uh, did everyone finish? What about the others? Did you finish? Yes, yes. Reina, did you finish? Diana, Jose, Sara Miranda, Carlota, did you finish? Did everybody finish? Finalizamos todos? Yes? yes. No? Yes? yes okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, Carla, do you want to start giving us one of your questions, please? Reading one is of your uh -huh. Is Fernanda in kindergarten? Okay. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Okay. Yes. So this is what we're going to do, students. Very simple, just like I did. Uh, as you could see, Carla read one of her questions, right? She read one of her just no questions. All of us, we, including the teacher, we are going to answer to the questions. And for example, repeat the question, Carla. Once again, please, just to give examples. Uh -huh. Can you repeat? Is Fernanda in kindergarten? Okay, is Fernanda. Is Fernanda in kindergarten? In kindergarten, okay. Is Fernanda in kindergarten? How can we respond that, students? How? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Or no, she. Or no, she isn't. Exactly. That is what we're going to do. Okay. Or no, she. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Correct. Very, very good. Uh, Ibeth, one question, please. One of your questions. Mm -hmm. Ibeth, yeah. Okay. Is she a secretary? Is she a secretary? Uh huh. Repeat it, please. Again, is she a secretary? Is she a secretary? A secretary, okay, a secretary. Uh -huh. And the answer, participants, students, what is the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is, or yes, no, she, she is. isn't. Or no, she isn't, very good. Very, very good, thank you. Uh, yes, Magdaleno. Mm -hmm. Hey, no me sirve el micrófono de este volado. No, yeah, Muy it bien. works. Mm -hmm. We yes. listen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are you a um, soccer star? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes, I am. Oh, no. I am not. No, I am not. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Carla Patricia, are you are you Mexican? No, I am not. Very good. Luz Angelica, are you vegetarian? Are you no, vegetarian? No, I am not. Okay. Very, very good. Uh, Reina. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Reina, are you coffee addicted? 
do you like do you uh, love coffee do you enjoy drinking coffee are you a coffee lover for example mm -hmm. reina oh no her, her her screen got frozen yeah she's having problems Ibeth, are you a coffee lover is una amante del café are you Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Magdaleno, are you an athletic person? Are you an athletic person? Oh, athletic. Uh -huh. I can translate this word. Una persona atletica, are you an athletic person? Athletic. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. But in real life, one choice, one answer, please. Una sola respuesta para eso, real de usted. One real answer, please. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Sarah, Miranda, are you a university student? Are you? Sarah, Miranda, are you a university student? Miss Miranda, Sara, are you? Mm -hmm. I cannot listen to you, Sara. I guess you have to activate your microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Uh, Diana. Diana, are you an architect? Mm, no, I am not. Okay. No, I am not. Excellent. Very good. And finally, Lisef. Lisef, are you? Mm -hmm. Are you from Brazil? No, I don't. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. Not no, I am not. I am not. Exactly. That's how you practice it, right, students? Yes, that is how you practice. Mm -hmm. Are you Maria? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Uh, are you, for example, Jose Correa? Are you Japanese? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, Magdaleno, uh huh? Teacher, quisiera comentarle. Yeah. Bo, tengo que salir en este momento voy a ir en la clase quizá voy a pasar a comprar okay. otros audífonos porque estos no me le sirve el micrófono but I listen to you perfectly pero lo escucho perfectamente ya yeah. no, es que estoy ah, okay. he quitado el micrófono send me, eh, send me la, eh, los audífonos Magdaleno Magdaleno mm -hmm. send it in a message envíemelo un mensaje ajá yes please thank you thank you thank you okay very good very very good Thank you. Okay, students, perfect. We're going to continue right now with the next exercise, and it's this one. Uh, this one over here, I am presenting to you some expressions, right? That are very, very useful. We don't typically uh, speak the same way, right? But in today's class, we're going to learn how to huh? use them, how to apply them in context. Yes, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and it's uh, the following. We have some expressions in yeah, here. The first Hello. one is um, good after. That is perhaps the most common, right? Huh? The most common. Yes, uh, Magdaleno, can you, thank you, your microphone. Thank you. Uh, the first one is good afternoon, like a normal greeting, right? Good afternoon, good morning, hello, good evening, like that, right? That is like the normal, normal thing. Yes. Um, next one. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. When you know somebody for the first time, when you meet somebody for the first time, you say, hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Es un placer conocerlo o conocerla, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. That is another courtesy expression. Excuse me, for example, when you want to interrupt somebody, you raise your hand and you say, hey, excuse me, I have a question. Or teacher, I have a question. Excuse me, I have a question. Nice to see you. 
uh, for example, when you go outside and you see a person, for example, you see one of your friends, you say to that person, hey, hello, good evening. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Gusto de verte, right? Like, I'm happy to see you. Or estoy feliz, agradado de verte, right? Those are other courtesy expressions. Yvette, questions? No. No? Okay. Perfect. I'm grateful. Uh, most of the time, for example, when somebody gives something to us, most of the time we tend to say, thank you. But we can also say in a more formal, in a more formal way, um, I'm grateful, right? That is perhaps the most common way. Uh, I really want you to pay close attention to this. Uh, si les pido que me pongan una muchísima, muchísima atención a esto porque después lo van a, a utilizar, okay? So yes, I'm grateful. Instead of saying thank you, you can also say I'm grateful, right? I'm grateful, estoy agradecido. And that is more formal, more, more formal. Actually, like uh, if you use it in conversations or in the way you speak in your current regular speaking, right? So you say that. Yes, y así es como ustedes lo pueden utilizar. I'm grateful, like that. Estoy agradecido, gracias, pero de una manera más formal, right? When somebody gives you a chocolate, a chocolate, and you say to the person, thank you. Mm, yes, it's okay, but you can also say, I am grateful. Repeat it, please, students. I am grateful. I am, I am grateful. grateful. I am grateful. I am, I am grateful. grateful. Yes, I, I am, am grateful. 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 I am grateful. I am grateful. Very good. Grateful. Mm -hmm. Correct. I am grateful. Yes. Long time not seeing you. Long time not seeing you. Tiempo de no verte. Right? Hace rato que no te veo. Right? Like you tell that to the person. Uh, long time not seeing you. Right? Like that. That's what you normally, um, what you normally say. Mm -hmm. Long time not seeing you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's up? This is an informal form, right? An informal way, like saying hello. So you say in this case, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hello. But this depends on the confidence you have with the person, right? Depende mucho el uso de esta frase del tipo de confianza que tengan con la persona a la que se están dirigiendo. So you cannot talk to your supervisor or to your boss like this. No le pueden decir así a su jefe o a su superior, okay? You cannot say that to him or to her. So, entonces en ese caso ustedes dicen hello or hi, okay? Good evening, like that. That's what you say. Eso es lo que ustedes dicen. Mm -hmm. Yes. How is it going? Aparte de decir esa common question that we have, how are you? That's what we normally say. Generalmente decimos, how are you? Bueno, más bien preguntamos, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? O ¿cómo está? En este caso, ustedes van a poder usar, how is it going? Escuchen bien cómo se pronuncia esto. How is it going? 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 que significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo va todo? How is it going? ¿Ok? Yes. Mm -hmm. Participants. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Ileana, everything clear? Crisia, clear, clear? Clear. clear. Excellent. Todo claro con estas uh, expressions, con estas expresiones, preguntas y oraciones? Everything yeah. clear? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Como va todo? Repeat it, please, and say it to me and say it to the class. How is it going? 
How is it going? How is it going? Uh -huh. How is he going? Exactly. For example, Carla. Hello, Carla. Mm -hmm. Continue. Hello, teacher. How is it going, Carla? Very uh, good. I'm fine. Very you? bad. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very bad. I'm fine. Uh -huh. Yes, very well. Thanks for asking. I'm fine. Uh -huh. I'm fine. Very good. Yes. How is it going? How are you? Glad to read that. Generalmente cuando leemos un mensaje, principalmente en, 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 en chat, right? Nosotros decimos, glad to, glad to hear that. Ajá, grato escuchar eso. Qué bueno escuchar eso. Pero a veces no estamos escuchando nada, estamos leyendo. Entonces lo correcto sería también decir, glad to read that. Ajá. Qué bueno leer eso, qué bueno saber eso, right? When somebody gives you good news, cuando alguien les da buenas noticias, ¿verdad? Ustedes le dicen, qué bueno escucharte, pero en realidad ustedes no han escuchado nada, sino que no han leído. ¿Ok? So you say, glad to read that. Glad to read that. Mm -hmm. Yes, glad to read that. And then you say, thanks. Glad to read that. Exactly. Glad to read that. Glad to read that. And then we have here, thanks, thanks, which is the not like the most common form, the most regular way, right? Glad to hear that. Gusto de escuchar eso. Encantado de escuchar eso. Okay, participants, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear that. Questions about this? Do you have any questions about this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Chair. Teacher. Uh -huh. El número dos, ¿qué dijo que significaba? Number two. It's a pleasure to meet you. Un placer conocerlo o conocerla. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Crisia? Sí. Eh, la pregunta es para decir qué bueno escuchar esto. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es el, el verbo escuchar? Ah, Hear, glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Glad, Gracias. glad to hear that. Yes, glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. In the chat, I wrote the word for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Reina, not a problem. I just read hi, teacher. I have problems with my connection on my laptop. Okay, not a problem. I understand. Yes. So that is how you say it, Chrisia. Glad to hear that. When you listen to something, uh -huh. when you are listening to something. But when you read it, when you are reading it, you say, eh, glad to read that. Mm -hmm. Yes, glad to read that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes. Very, very good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. More questions? Uh-huh. More, more questions, participants, any other questions? Alguna otra pregunta? Uh -huh. Any more questions? No más dudas, todo claro? Yes. Ready for practicing? Listos para practicarlo? Ready for practicing? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Very good. In this moment, please. In your mini, uh, well, uh, uh, we're going to do the following. Um, in your notebook, select two of these phrases, only two, and write down a mini, mini conversation to yourself, like including two people. For example, hi, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? Excellent. Excellent. It's nice to see you. 
it's nice to see you too. Like a simple, simple conversation. Short, super short. Una conversación bien pequeña, bien cortita. Solo para utilizar la aplicación, solo para ver la aplicación de estos dos, um, eh, de dos oraciones, dos phrases, dos preguntas de las que aparecen acá en este vocabulary practice. Ok, please. Participants, do it right now. Do it, do it, do it, please. Mm -hmm. Do it, do it, please. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Ive. Can you repeat? Uh huh. Okay. Um. Select two of these expressions, Ive. And create a short conversation using them. Two expressions, only that. Seleccionados de estas expresiones y trate de escribir una pequeñísima conversación utilizándolas. Only two short expressions. Solo dos expresiones cortitas. Okay, only two. Solo dos cortitas. Two expressions. Okay, Ibe. Okay. Okay, very Finish. good. Finish. Finish, excellent. Very good, very, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Finish. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job. Good job. We're gonna wait uh, for the others to finish mm -hmm. and then we check all together this yes this is just a review right it, it shouldn't take any less because it's just a review about what we have done so far so un pequeño repaso lo que hemos trabajado en estas últimas clases yes very very good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Yesenia. Buenas noches, Claudia and Yesenia. Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. Hello, hello, hello. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hello. Perfect. Uh, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to meet you. Here we have some expressions. These are some expressions and I'm going to repeat them very quick to you. Esas son algunas expresiones con las que estamos trabajando en estos momentos, right? Se las voy a repetir una vez más para que ustedes puedan, bueno, para que puedan estar en sintonía, right? Con lo que estamos trabajando en estos momentos. So these are expressions of courtesy or to say hello, to start a conversation, right? Or to follow up a conversation. Son oraciones, preguntas cortas, frases cortas que utilizamos para iniciar o para seguir una conversación, right? Good afternoon, like, hey, hello, good morning, or good afternoon, right? Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Es un gusto conocerte cuando conocen a alguien por primera vez, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Eh, excuse me, right? Like, teacher, excuse me, can you repeat it? Teacher, disculpe, ¿puede repetir? Excuse me, teacher. Can you repeat it? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Qué bueno verte. Qué, qué agradable verte. Nice to see you. I am grateful. Right? Again, that means... Um, that means that you are thankful for something. That means that you are saying thanks. Right? To somebody. That's what you are um, saying in there. Uh, I'm grateful, right? I'm grateful. I am thankful. Thanks. Le agradezco. Muchas gracias, right? In a more formal way. That's what you say. That's what you normally get to say in there. Perfect. Um, long time not seeing you. For example, when you haven't seen a person for such a long time, that's what you say, right? Long time non not seeing you. 
tanto tiempo de no verte o que bastante tiempo, hace ratos que no te veo, ¿verdad? Es como un saludo informal that we had for people. Long time not seeing you. Mm -hmm. Long time not seeing you. WhatsApp, it's a little bit more informal. It's like saying, hey, hello, right? How is it going? ¿Cómo va todo? How is it going? How are you? In other words, right? How are you? How is it going? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, let me see what else. What was the other we had? Eh, well, how is it going? ¿Cómo va todo? Es como decir, how are you? Esta expresión, how is it going? Glad to read that. Gusto de leer eso. Qué bueno leer eso. Qué bueno saber eso, right? Happy to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yes. And then we say thanks, right? Thanks. Gracias. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, Yesenia and Claudia, is it clear? Me he dado a comprender. Claudia and Yesenia, is it clear? Mm -hmm. Sí. Yes? Yes? Yes. Okay, Claudia, what about you? Clear, Claudia? Mm -hmm. Claudia, todo claro? Yes? Más o menos, teacher. Okay, which one? Si me especifica cuál es, Claudia, para poderle aclarar. Mm -hmm. El de how is it going? Uh, how is it going? How is it going? Yeah, that means like, um, that means how are you, right? That's what it means. How are you? Quiere, es un sinónimo de decir cómo está. Cómo va todo, right? How are you? How is it going? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher. Perfect. That's how you say it. Yes. That is how you say it. Very, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. How is it going? How is everything going? Yes. So please create your mini conversations. Did you finish? En este momento se supone que debíamos crear la mini conversation, ¿verdad? Una conversación de tres, cuatro líneas utilizando dos expressions. Dos expresiones de acá. Utilizando solo dos. ¿Ok? Yes, let me give you some more minutes for you to finish. Te voy a dar unos dos, tres minutitos más para que finalicemos. And then we check together. Y luego revisamos juntos. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, perfect. Teacher, estoy teniendo problemas con la cámara o no sé, porque dice no puede iniciar su video porque el hospedador lo detuvo. Oh, really? Mm, I don't know what happened. Um, try right now. Iliana, ah, now? now I see you. Ahora sí la veo, Iliana. Sí, sí, hoy sí. Yeah, okay, perfect. Very good. Gracias. Very good, yes. No mm -hmm. problema de ahí era. Okay, so, uh, perfect, 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 perfect. So, did you finish? Finalizamos los demás. Yeah, the others, finish. Finish, finish, yes. Yes. Sí. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bien. Vamos a iniciar con, eh, like, the socializing of this. Vamos a compartirlas. Sí les pido a todos muchísima, muchísima concentración. Yo sé que por las horas, ¿verdad? Y tal vez tienen eh, mucho que comentar, pero sí les pido muchísima conversación para tener, estar todos en la misma sintonía. Please. So we are going to start um, socializing uh, the ideas. We're going to have the interaction right now. Let's start with, let me see. Uh, yes, please. Crisia, one example, please. Well, read your mini conversation. To me and to the class, please. Bien. Mm -hmm. Hi, yeah. what's your name? Hi, I'm Dana. Um, it's a place to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you, okay? Just repeat, it's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh -huh, excellent, it's a pleasure, yes. Pleasure. Very, very good, it's a pleasure, yes. Pleasure. Very good, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. pleasure. Very good, mm -hmm. correct. Yes, it's, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. pleasure. Yes, very good. Ajá, somebody yeah. else, alguien más que desee compartir, recuérdense que este es un momento de practice. Es solo de ustedes y para ustedes. So, you try. Uh, yes, Reina. Mm -hmm. And then Ileana. First, Reina. And then Ileana. Mm -hmm. Teacher, voy a tener la cámara apagada porque desde mi cel estoy con datos. The internet no connection. connection. Okay. Okay, Reina. Thank you. Thanks for informing. Mm -hmm. Hey, teacher, you can help. You can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. But be careful, Magdaleno. Con what? cuidado, Magdaleno. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, teacher, I can I can share. Her. Okay, uh, just Reina, <laughs> then Iliana, and then you, Magdaleno, and then Luz Angelica. Uh -huh. Yes, Reina. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. How is it going? Yes. I am fine. And you? Excellent. By the way, I am studying the university. Glad to listen that. Mm hmm. Very good, yes, excellent. Very, very good. Yes, Reina, thank you very much. Now it's Ileana's turn. Ajá, aquí estoy practicando ya los possessions. Recuerden, Ileana's turn. La oportunidad o el turno de Ileana. Ajá, so, Ileana. Okay, hello, good morning. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am fine, and you? So, so. Okay, bye. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Ileana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Magdaleno? It's okay. Hello. Good afternoon. And how are you? I, I am fine. Yes, yes. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Goodbye. Nice to see you too. Bye. Excellent. Very good, Magdaleno. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Angelica, please. Um, hi, Maria. Long time not to see you. And Maria say, yes, long time. How is it? How is it going, Maria? How is it going, Maria? Everything good. Angelica, yes, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Uh, me parece muy bien las ideas que están compartiendo. Yo sé que quizás han de sentir, ay, no, teacher, nos está llevando muy rápido. Nos está prácticamente forzando a hablar inglés, a tratar de entenderlo lo más. Pero en realidad ese es el propósito. Despegarlos para que ustedes puedan, ¿verdad? Así puedan adquirir una fluidez más rápida, más instantánea. Y que en verdad la práctica sea sea valiosa, ¿verdad? No solo repetir, sino que ustedes puedan aplicarlo, puedan conocerlo y aplicarlo. Know it and apply it. Very good. Y Beth, do you want to share? Desea compartir sus ejemplos. Y Beth, do you want to share? Okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miguel. Um, Michael. Yes, yeah, no problem. <laughs> The name, no problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> good afternoon, Sofía. How is it going? Nice to meet you. Long time. Long time. Long time see you. Long not time. Not seen you. Not seen you. Mm -hmm. Not seen you. Excellent, Yves. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very good, Yves. Excellent. Yes, nice, excellent, good job, good job. Uh, I don't know if Jose Portillo or Jose Corea, do you want to share, or Mauricio, hello Mauricio. Do you want to share your mini, mini conversation? Somebody, Mr. Corea, Mr. Portillo or Mr. Calderon? Mm -hmm. Carla Patricia, yes, Carla, I listen to you, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hey. Yes, hello. Sorry. Maria. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Solo eh, tengo a... Es de... Entonces... No, no sé si se me escucha. Con... Cut, cut it. Pro... Yeah. 
Ajá, se escucha un poquito cortado. Quizás esperemos un momento para que se estabilice su señal y luego le doy el espacio, ¿ok? Yes, yes, excellent, very good. Uh, yes, please, Carla Patricia, sorry, yes. Yeah. Eh, ma María says, good morning, Karen. How are you? Eh, Karen says, eh, fine, and you? Eh, fine, it's a pleasure to meet you. Eh, thanks. I am a grateful Maria. I am grateful Maria. Very good, Carla Patricia. Excellent. I like the organization you have given. Muy bien. Me gusta la organización como lo puso todo. Like connected. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay, participants. Very good. I, this is just a coincidence. Aquí fue una coincidencia, Patricia. <laughs> Le puse, hi, I am Patricia. In here, hello, my name is Charles. So. Yeah, it was a coincidence. I put it in here now that I see it, this mini conversation. So uh, we're going to move on right now to this, another practice. This class is just about practice, right? It's, uh, this session is focused on that. Once again, to practice everything. Eh, una vez más, de acuerdo al objetivo que tenemos para esta clase, es practicar todo el vocabulario que hemos trabajado en esta semana, right? So nouns, that's what we studied yesterday. Nouns are the names of everything, as you remember. Names of objects, people, places, like for example, El Salvador, San Salvador, Soyapango, United States, Africa, Iliana, Kevin, Yesenia, Crisia, computer, laptop, pencil, teacher, supervisor, all of those are nouns, right? They are nouns. That's how you call them. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's the way you call them, and that's how you use them as well. In this moment, write the plural form of the following nouns. Uh, we have document, the well, we have four words: document, boss, object, and book. They are all in singular. So do me a favor, write down the plural of these words. That is what I want you to do in this moment. Write down the plural form. Okay, la forma plural de estos cuatro singulares, sustantivos singulares, singular nouns. Please. Mm -hmm. Is it clear what you have to do? Claudia, Lisef, Yesenia, estamos claros? Diana, Lucia, Gabriela, is it clear? Claros con lo que tenemos que hacer? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Thanks for responding. Excellent. Yes, good job. Good, good job. Finish. Finish. Very good. Excellent. Finish. Very good. Finish. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we're just waiting for the others um, to check, right? The, the, the answers to see what they have gotten. Right, solo esperamos a las demás para revisar, to check, right? Finish, teacher. Finish, okay. Very good. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Very good. Ready, ready, ready? Can we check together? Let's see. Number one, what is number one? Mm -hmm. Documents. 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 Document? Document. Documents. Uh -huh. Documents. Documents. Very good. Document, documents. Number two. Boss. Boss. Bosses. 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 Uh -huh. Give me the spelling, please. Uh -huh. Give me the spelling of bosses based on the alphabet and the spelling. Uh -huh. How do you spell bosses? B. B. O. O. S. 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 Excellent. Very good. Bosses, right? Bosses. Very good. That's how you say it, right? Bosses. Very, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Bosses. Uh, the next one, a object. Plural of object? Oh, yes. Objects. 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 Uh -huh. Objects. Very good. Objects. Yes. And book, the plural of book? Books. 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 Uh -huh. books. 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 Excellent. So we're not going to take too much time on this, of the spelling, because I know you have gotten the spelling very well. So let's see, Luz Angelica, real quick, because of the time. So I can, we can move on, right, to the next activity, to the next task. Can you spell for me and for the class the word document? Mm -hmm. T-O-C-U-M-E-N-T. -E Excellent. Very good. Uh, Yesenia, can you spell the word boss, please, to me and to the class? The word boss, Yesenia? Uh -huh. El deletreo de la palabra boss. El número dos, Yesenia. Number two. B O S. 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 Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good, Yesenia. B O S S. Uh -huh. Yes, very, very good. B O S S. Uh, Crisia, object. O B -E J E C T. Excellent. Very good. Good job. And Sara Miranda, book, please. Mm -hmm. B O O K. K. Excellent. B O O K. Very good. Okay. That's how you spell it, right? That's how you spell it. Very, very good. Yes. Document, documents. Boss, bosses. Object, objects. Book, books. Very, very good. Perfect, students. Perfect, perfect. Good job. So this is what we're going to do in this moment. Please, using your creativity, I want you to give me longer examples. You remember this, right? We practiced this in the previous classes. Subject pronouns and possessive adjectives. Let's start with the subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, you, they, and we. Again, I, you, he, she, it, you, they, and we. Perfect. We use them for negative and affirmative statements. Eso fue algo que vimos anteriormente, right? Los usamos para negative and affirmative statements. I am a teacher. Crisia is a doctor. Luz Angelica is a professional dentist. Eh, Ibeth is a eh, what? Ibeth is a chef. Reina is uh, an engineer, for example. Uh, Yesenia is a secretary. Uh, Mauricio is a cashier. Ileana is an accountant. He is, she is, we are, right? English speakers. Somos hablantes del idioma inglés. We are English speakers. Jose Correa is, um, what? He is an auditor right? Es un auditor, so all of those, right? 
Very good. And, and as you remember, we also practice the possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it's, your, our, and their. For example, my house. My, that is my possession. It's about me. Me, 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 my. Like my cell phone. If you remember, I gave you that example last class, right? My cell phone, my, your cell phone, your, his, for example, Jose, his cell phone, because I am talking about a man, me refiero a un caballero, a Jose, okay? Entonces ahí voy a usar his, his cell phone. Y así es para una señorita, her, right? Her cell phone, her cell phone, okay? When it's a uh, general information, we use it's. For example, Mexico and its tacos. Mexico y sus tacos, right? Mexico and its tacos. A taco and its coffee. A taco y su café, okay? El Salvador and its people. El Salvador y su gente, right? That is another example. El Salvador and its people. Yes. Salvador and its people. I recommend you to have that example in mind. Le recomiendo, tomen nota de ese ejemplo que les acabo de poner en el chat. ¿verdad? Es como que más conciso para el uso de it, right? Eh, Yvette and her family. Yvette y su familia. Yvette and her family. Carla Patricia and her daughter. Carla Patricia y su hija, right? And her daughter. Okay. Do you remember the possessions now? Ahora sí recuerdan los possessions? Do you remember? Yes. And her yes. daughter. Mm -hmm. Carla? Yes, I remember. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Carla and her daughter, right? Eh, Sara and her eh, notebook, for example, right? Sara and her notebook. Diana Margarita and her cell phone, right? Diana Margarita is su teléfono. Excellent. So what are you going to do? Ahora que recuerdan ambos, both possessive and um, subject pronouns, you're going to do the following. You are going to create I don't know, this. For example, my name is Kevin. I am an English teacher. Or like this, I am a teacher. But I am not an English teacher or a math teacher. <laughs> Un párrafo así, similar. Utilizando prácticamente todito lo que hemos visto hasta el momento. Ese es como un resumen perfecto. A perfect um, summary, right? Let me read it for you. Permítanme leerlo para ustedes. I am Kevin. I am a teacher, but I am not a math teacher. Right? Mi nombre es Kevin. Soy maestro, pero I am not a math teacher. No soy maestro de matemáticas. This is my class. We are beginners one. Esta es mi clase. Aquí tengo, aquí, primero. Vamos parte por parte. La primero, aquí tengo un affirmative statement. I am a teacher. Luego tengo un negative statement. I am not a math teacher. Right? This is my, this is my class. Aquí tengo un positive adjective. My, right? Uh, I speak, uh, we are beginners one, and I speak English. My name is Kevin. I am a teacher, but I am not a math teacher. This is my class. 
We are beginners one. Nosotros somos el grupo de básico uno. Beginners one. I speak English and practice in class. Something like this. A description like this is what you have to do. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lisa, Claudia, okay, Reina. Uh -huh. Lucia, Gabriela. Sara, Miranda. Jose, Corea, Diana, Ileana, Yvette, Lisette. Is it clear? Todo claro? Clear, teacher. Mm -hmm. clear. 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 Excellent. Very good. Do it, please, in this moment. Realizan en este momento, please. Do it. In this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And if you have questions, ask me, okay? Si tienen dudas, me preguntan, no hay ningún problema. Yesenia, everything clear? Ajá, todo claro, Yesenia? Miss Cárcamo? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. Finish, teacher. Finish? finish, finish. Wow. Easy, right? <laughs> Finish. Finish. Very good. Very good. Do me a favor. Type it on the chat. Ahora sí. Pueden proceder a escribirlo en el chat, por favor. In the chat of the group. Para revisar su grammar. Mm -hmm. Hey, no, bro. Me ah, no, no. In your case, Magdaleno, no. No, Magdaleno. <laughs> no, don't worry. Yeah. In your case, no, no problem. Mm -hmm. But I can say you. Yeah, uh -huh. when, as we start reading them, you can say them. Cuando iniciamos la lectura, you can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, I have, oh, <laughs> my name is Luz. I'm a sales executive and English student. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Le recomiendo que antes de darle enter, y lo escriban todo, okay? Type it all. And then you, uh -huh. and then you, you uh, share, right? that you say it, y luego lo comparten para todos. Then you say it for everybody. Uh, my name is Lizeth. I am a primary teacher. I'm not a doctor. My class is for children from one to three years old. Wow, so you are a maternity, uh, maternity teacher, right, Lizeth? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Good, excellent. Very good, good job. Good, good job, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, exactly, uh-huh. I like this recommendation, yes. Very, very good, uh-huh. Yes. Magdaleno, focus on the street, don't read, mm -hmm. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. Sí, concentradito ahorita, yeah, to your house. No, no se distraiga, okay? Yes. No. Okay. My name is... I Yes. Uh -huh. My name is Yesenia. I am a cashier. I'm not a boss. We are workers. I'm happy. Excellent, Yesenia. Very good. Just one correction. I am not a boss, right? <laughs> My name is Carla. My favorite food is uh, Mexicano. It's a Mexican. It's Mexican. Uh -huh. It's Mexican. But I am not Mexican. Well, <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, this is my notebook. We are students. My name is Lucia. I am an economic student, but I am not a student of engineering. Yes, very good. Very, very good. Good job. Uh, yes. He is Mario in, well, they are Mario. In this case, even they are Mario and Jose. Uh -huh. They are Mario and Jose. They are co-workers, but they are not friends. They are not friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. My name is, oh yeah, I read about Lizeth already. Yes, my name is Sara. This is my job and we are good friends with all my colleagues. Thank you, Luz. My name is Carla. My name is Lizeth. My name is Luz and I'm a sales executive and English student. Yes, very good. Uh-huh. Very good. Here it says, uh, my name is Mauricio. I am a principal of school, but I am a dancer, okay? This is my profile in this class. I feel very good, excellent. Hi, my name is Chrysia. I am a teacher. I am not a secretary. I like my English class, very good. My name is Claudia and I am an accountant assistant. I am not a doctor. This is my occupation. My classmates are good people. They are good friends. Very good, very, very good. 
My name is Sara and I am an accountant, but I am not a secretary. My name is Diana. I am a cashier and a student. I am not a teacher. My favorite color is pink. Yes. Hello, my name is Reina and I am a sales executive. At the moment, I am an English student and I eat pupusas. I am pupusas? No, I eat pupusas, okay? Uh -huh. You have to say it like that, uh, Reina. I am, no, I eat pupusas. Ah, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 it's true. I am a pupusas lover, sorry. No había leído esa última palabra, yes. Uh, I am a pupusas lover. Así pueden decir que algo les fascina, que ustedes son amantes o devotos a algo. Lover, right? I am a pupusas lover. For example, are you a cat's lover? ¿Son amantes de los gatos? Yes, no. Are you a cat lover? Are you? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Ajá. No los escucho. Ajá. No los escucho. No sé si están practicando. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ah, okay. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Are you a dog's lover? Amantes de los cachorros, perros? Are you a dog a dog's yes, lover? Yes, I am. Yes, oh, I am. Yes, I am. Are you no, a chocolate? Are you a chocolate lover? A person who no, loves. No, I am not. No. Yes, yes I, am. I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Are you a tamales lover? Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> And the yes, last I am. one. Are you a sleeping lover? Amantes de dormir mucho. Are you a sleeping uh, lover? Yes, yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more, una más. Are you, are you a rainy day, well, are you rainy days lover? Are you rainy, no reina, rainy. Are you rainy days <laughs> lover? Uh -huh. Son amantes no, de los días yeah. lluviosos. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes, very, very good. Mm -hmm. My name, uh, mm -hmm. let's continue with the others. It says, I am, I am not. Okay. My name is Ileana. I am an accountant assistant. I am not a model. They are loving my family. Okay. My name is Jose Correa. I am a technical support but I am not a field support. I try to learn English with the class. I like video games. Okay, very good. What's your favorite video game? Jose? I have many. You have many, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good. So this is, right? Very good students, excellent. So we're gonna move on right now to the next task for today. Now that we practice all of this, thank you very much. You're gonna practice the following. Uh, what we have in here, look at this. Do me a favor, please take a screenshot of this in este momento. Pueden todos tomar una captura de pantalla de estas preguntas or copy them. Mm -hmm. Please. Para mí es más fácil que tomen una, una screenshot, una captura. Please. Yeah, it's better. And when you finish, cuando terminen, me dicen ready. 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 Mm -hmm. Ready. Ok. Ready. Mm -hmm. The others, ready? Los demás, ready, ready? Listos? Ready? Ready, teacher. Ready? Okay. Perfect. 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 So let me explain these questions to you. Please, permitan explicar esas preguntas. Let me explain them to you. Uh, the first one, what's your name? EC. My name is this, this, and this. Where are you from? You have to tell the country, right? Like I am from Mexico, I am from Argentina, I am from uh, Spain, I am from Costa Rica, for example, right? I am from Nicaragua, I am from Panama, like that. 
Uh, how old are you? I am 24 years old. I am 30 years old. I am 50 years old, like that, right? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black, for example. What's your favorite music? My favorite music is salsa, for example. I don't know. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is, ahí dicen su comida favorita. Where do you live? ¿A dónde vive? Puede decir solo el lugar, pero no digan todo completo. Por ejemplo, Lilopango, Soyapango, San Salvador, like that, right? Where do you live? Where do you study? Ahí sí todos van a tener una misma respuesta. I study at inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? Where, uh, sorry, what are your hobbies? ¿Cuáles son sus hobbies o actividades de tiempo libre? What are your hobbies? Reading, eating, ok. Para algunos de ustedes puede ser eating, para otros reading, para otros sleeping, watching movies, like that, right? Who do you live with? Listen to this question. Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vive? I live with my mom. Y se dicen, I live with my mom. Vivo con mi mamá. I live with my father. I live with my husband, my wife, my children, right? Like that. And do you yes. have a pet? Y aquí va una yes, no question. ¿Tienes una mascota? ¿Tiene una mascota? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes or no, I don't. Are these questions clear, students? ¿Están claras estas preguntas? Are they clear to you? It's yes, clear. clear. Mm -hmm. Todos los demás, Ileana, Mauricio, José Corea. Ready, teacher. Yes. yes, yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very good. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, tengan esas preguntas, please. Mm. Mantengan esas preguntas a la mano. Please. Uh, and this is what you're going to do. Manténganlas a la mano. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, manténganlas a la mano. Y ahorita les va a caer una pequeñita invitación a una sala de discusión. ¿Verdad? Un breakout rooms. Quiero que todos la acepten y practiquen. Accept it and practice. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a intercambiar respuestas con estas preguntas. Ustedes les van a preguntar. What's your... Name, eh, bueno, quizás la primera la vamos a omitir porque es un poco obvia, ¿verdad? repetitiva. Las otras que son más nuevas y más significativas. Por ejemplo, eh, Luz, hello, what's your favorite music? Don't respond, don't respond, just, just like an example, right? Uh, what's your favorite music? Ah, it's salsa, me too. My favorite music is eh, romantic music, for example, right? And Ileana, what's your favorite color? And Ileana says, my favorite color is red. Okay? So, like that. Mm -hmm. Preguntas y respuestas así. Okay, students? Okay. Yes? Perfect. Los voy a enviar entonces a todos. Ahí aceptan la invitación, please. Mm -hmm. eh, yes. Y... Ajá. Eh, pero... Primero, primero lo voy a enviar a los. Where are you from? Hello, are hello. You from? <laughs> hello, hello. First, I'm going to send you. Hello. Okay, Hi. Hello. Thank you. Primero los voy a enviar a sus salones de uh, discusión, ¿ok? Ahí van a discutir con sus compañeros. With your uh, participant classmates, right? ¿Ok? Okay, sure. Perfect. Ahí vamos. Ahí están. Ya se los envié. Go, please. Go, go, go. go. Uh -huh.
Ajá, y B. Uh -huh. Ingresa a una sala y B. Ahí le envía la invitación. Please. Y B. Hello, Ibeth. Can you listen to me? Me escucha, Ibeth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where okay. do you live? Where do you live? Sorry. Nadie le preguntó. Ahí está. Where do you live? I live in. Eh, Fíjense que ahí tengo una duda, no sé si decir el, el, el departamento o el municipio. Como quiera. Where do you live in Usulután? I live in Usulután. Ah, I live in Usulután. Excellent. Correcto. Ok. okay. Reina, eh, what is, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green, and my favorite mu music is the rock. Jose mm. Corea, where, where do you study? Uh, I'm sure at in English Corporativo. Excellent, English Corporativo. Uh -huh. Carla, who do you live with? Visit the other group. Here, yes.
or the or Okay, thanks. Su pregunta ahora es para Crisia Vanessa. Crisia, where are you from? Where? The from or the color favorite? Uh -huh. No. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm from El Salvador. I am from okay. El Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use another country. Use your creativity. For example, I am from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. La siguiente pregunta sería, what's your favorite color? Favorite. 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 Excellent. Hmm? My favorite color is pink. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Diana, Margarita. Uh -huh. Voy a apagar la cámara porque le tomé captura y los tengo con el celular. Ok. Y me saca cuando busco otra cosa. Ok. Eh, the next. What's your favorite of music? What's your favorite music? Uh -huh. Ok. What's your favorite music? My favorite music is pop latino. Oh, nice. you are a dancer, right? Yes, teacher. Nice. Very good. Do, do you do you do you have trainings as a dancer? Tiene entrenamientos como mm, profesio profesionales, no solo entrenamientos personales, ah, como okay. hobby. Ah, ok. Como hobbies y, como, y con algunos de mis estudiantes. Ah, ok. Perfect. Very good. Nice, Mauricio. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, for this, my question is. Falta Lisette y Lucía Gabriela. years old. Ok, Lucía Gabriela. No escuché muy bien la pregunta. Eh, how old are you? Uh -huh. How old, old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Eh, 20. 20. Okay. Are you, Eliana? Uh -huh. How old are you? I am, I am 25 years old. Uh -huh. Me too. I am 25 years old. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And you, Lucia Gabriela, and Lisette, Lisette del Carmen, how old are you? I am, I am 20. 20. Oh, really? It's nice. Yeah. Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and students, esta es una pregunta para todas. Y... Magdaleno también, quizá. Para todos. <laughs> Sorry, Magdaleno. Oh, okay. uh, let me see. Uh, how old? How old are you? Um, no. What's your favorite music? Uh -huh. My favorite music is salsa, eh, en... En merengue. Salsa en merengue. Ok, muy bien. Very good. Very My good. favorite music is. Um, uh, pop. Pop. In English or in Spanish? Mm, 
ambos, ¿cómo se dice? Both. 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 Uh -huh. Both. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. What about you, Lucía Gabriela? What's your favorite food? My favorite food in the burger. Bur burgers. Yes. Uh -huh. And what restaurant do you prefer, Lucía Gabriela? Mm. Wendy's, McDonald's, or Burger King? Wendy's. Wendy's, okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Claudia. Mm -hmm. Claudia, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is purple. My favorite color is purple. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. So you finish? Todos terminaron, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's coming again. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let me see. Let's wait for the others to return. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome. Excellent. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Very good. Very, very good. So we're going to continue right now. Uh, yes. Yes, Ileana. You wanted to say something? What? Uh -huh. No? Okay, perfect. Uh, yes. Very good. Mm, this is what we're gonna do. Let's see, we're gonna socialize this together. Uh, real quick, rapidamente, antes de movernos a la próxima actividad, la penúltima, última, uh, we're going to check this all together. Um, well, I, I want you to practice. That's all I want you to do in this moment. Practice, practice, practice. Quiero que practiquen. Este es el único momento que tienen practicar para practicar su speaking, right? Entonces, quiero que practiquen si yo decirles, ¿verdad? Quiero que sea algo voluntario, que salga de ustedes, que ustedes Consientan practicar. One person ask. Eh, alguien dirige su pregunta a alguien más y esa persona responde y seguimos con esa cadena. We follow up that chain. ¿Ok? Yes. Ok. Mauricio. Uh -huh. Por Carla Patricia. Ok. Carla Patricia. Ajá. Uh -huh. Carla, how old are you? Sorry? Repeat, please. How old are you? Um, I am 20, uh, 31 years old. Um, Jose, uh, where are you? What's your favorite color? What's Jose? Uh, just you. No. You, Korea. You, Mr. Korea. Uh -huh. Jose Korea. Uh, my favorite color is dark blue. Mm -hmm. Dark blue, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jose? Um, uh, Reina. What are your hobbies? My favorite hobbies are, is are, are, are sleep. Sleeping and only sleeping. And watch TV. And watching TV. And series. Okay, very good. Reina, you continue. Mm -hmm. 
Claudia. How do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? How do you live? I live in Quetzaltepec. Uh, no, Claudia. Who? Who do you live with? Con quien vive? Who oh. do you live with? I live with my parents, my son, and my sisters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Claudia, you continue one question. Uh huh. And Yvette. Yes. Uh huh. Um, 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 what are your hobbies? My hobbies are student and dance. Study and dance. Dance, okay. And Yvette, one question to somebody, please. Mm -hmm. um, Crisia. Okay, Crisia. Where are you from? Mm. I'm from in Santa Tecla. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I live in Santa Tecla. Uh, Crisia, continue. Um, para. Perdón, estoy viendo quiénes están. Mm -hmm. Para luz. Luz, okay. What's your favorite food? Mm -hmm. um, okay, my favorite food is a Mexican. Uh, okay, let me check the list. Uh -huh. uh, Diana. Diana, okay. Uh, where is your full name, Diana? Uh -huh. Repeat, please. What is your full name? What is your full name? Your complete name. For example, my full name is. Kevin, Alexander, Velázquez, Velázquez. You, Diana? Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no entendí bien. Okay. What's your full name? For example, my full name is Kevin, Alexander, Velázquez. Ah, okay. okay. Uh -huh. my, my full name is Diana Margarita Campos Benítez. Excellent. Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, Diana, the last question. Eh, Una última pregunta, alguien? To somebody? Iliana. Iliana, okay. Eh, where do you live? Repeat, please. Where do you live? I live in Colonia Ibu, San Salvador. Aha. Uh -huh. I live in Colonia. Ibu, San Salvador. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And... Mm. Ay, no Do you have a pet? No, I don't know a pet. No, I don't have it. Or I don't have. Okay. No, I don't have a pet. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Perfect, students. Very good. So now we're going to move on to the next exercise. Exercise number three. 
it's uh, in your manual, right? In page number 18, on page number 18, here is your, um, here is your exercise page number 18. So what do you have to do? Very simple, complete it like this. It says, uh, be the singular and plural statements, right? So it says, look for the mistake in each sentence, circle and write the correct sentence. Tienen que encontrar el error en cada una de las oraciones. Hello, hello. Uh, pre permítanme presentarles un ejemplo, ok? Let me show you an example para que vean cómo lo van a hacer. Look and identify the mistake. Identifiquen el error, lo circulan, right? Y luego reescriben la sentence, la oración. Write down the sentence. For example, we am marketing managers. What is the mistake? What is the error? Um, 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 uh -huh. we, so, we are. Uh -huh. It's we are. Exactly. It's we are, are marketing, marketing managers. managers. Exactly. Así como se los he puesto ahorita, así es que lo van a hacer los demás. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Do it, please, in this moment. Do it, please. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to call the attendance. Voy a eh, proceder a la última llamada de asistencia. Yes. To check it, to have it. You just say present, please. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, Carlota. She's here. Uh, Claudia. Yeah, Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Claudia Lisette Garcia Recinos. Present teacher. Very good. Diana Margarita Campos Benítez. Present teacher. Very good. Iliana y Dalia Serrano Martínez. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. José Arnoldo Corea Joven. Present. José Iván Portillo. Carla Patricia. Eh, Present. Exactly. Crisia Vanessa Enríquez Monterrosa. Present. Lisette del Carmen Ventura. Present. Lucía Gabriela. Present. Very good. Uh, Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Present. Uh -huh. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Yes. Magdaleno is here. Yeah. Present. Yes, very am... good. No, no problem. Present. Yeah, I understand that you're kind of busy. Raul Oswaldo Ramirez Fabián. He has missed three classes now. Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura. Present. Mm -hmm. Sara Judith Miranda Cruz. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana Castillo. Tomasa y Beth. Ramírez, Ramírez, no, Ramírez Castillo. Uh -huh. Present. And Verónica Yasmín Ramírez, Ramírez. Not here. And Yesenia Elizabeth Cárcamo Serrano. Present. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Tired, Luz. Exhausted. Yes. Yeah, I imagine. But it's Friday. <laughs> Do you work tomorrow? No, no problem. I don't yes, know. all day. Ah, really? At the 8 a.m. at uh, 5. From 8 to 5. Oh, yes. Lord. But on Sundays, no? No, Sunday, no. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. But tomorrow you don't have classes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can go and, and have pupusas or sleep or do something, right? Yes. After, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Yes.
finish. Excellent, very good. Let's just wait for the others to finish. Then we check together. Mm -hmm. Finish. Excellent. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, the others, did you finish, participants? Did you finish, finish, finish? Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. Okay, very good. So let's check together. Let's see together, okay? Um, yes, it says, uh, number one, we are marketing managers. That is the correction, right? We cannot use am um when we are using the pronoun we. So in this case, it has to be we are marketing managers. Number two, she aren't Margarita Marroquin. What is the mistake? What is the error? She is aren't. 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 Uh huh. Correct. Yes, she isn't Margarita Marroquin. Exactly. She isn't, isn't. Margarita Marroquin. Uh -huh. That is the correct form. That is the correct way you have to say it. Very good. Number three, Natalia and Sarai is the new supervisors. What is the error? What is the mistake? Is. This is her. Uh -huh, exactly, it's R, correct. That's oh. how you should say it. Natalia and Sarah are the new, are the new supervisors. supervisors. Correct, very good, very good. <laughs> Natalia and Sarah are the new supervisors. Number four, my boss are George Sandoval or Jorge Sandoval. Uh, is, 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 is my boss is. is. Excellent, very good. Ooh, sorry, no way. Yeah, my boss is Jorge Sandoval. And number five, their secretary aren't Laura Miranda. Aren't. Aren't. Aren't, aren't is the isn't. error. Uh -huh. is isn't. Isn't. Uh -huh. isn't. Their secretary isn't. Uh -huh. It's Laura. correct. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. We teacher, you have is there, no teacher. You are wrong. <laughs> it's Eason. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. It's Eason, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Their secretary is in Laura Miranda. Excellent students. Very good. And um, well, the final practice of today, again on page uh, 18, it's the following. You will have to um, share your ideas on this mini exercise. Exercise number four, just no questions and short answers with B. Invent 
yeah, it's possible, not exactly invent, use your creativity. And we finish with this exercise. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six spaces, complete them, please, with questions of your creativity. Then we share together and yeah, we get done to that part. Mm -hmm. Final exercise for today, yes. Finish. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Finish, teacher. Okay. <laughs>
finish. Very good, very good. Are you ready for sharing? Ready? Ready, ready for sharing? Participants? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect, perfect. So I don't know, uh, yes, Yvette, can you give us one example, please, Yvette? One yes, no question and the answer, please. Are, are you new? Are you the new? Are, mm -hmm. are you the new co-worker? Co-worker, okay, very good. Are you the new co-worker? Excellent. Yes, I am. No, yes, I I'm am. not. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Claudia, one example, please. Claudia. Claudia. Cualquiera. Any, yeah, no problem. Are they Carlos and Anna? Are they? Uh -huh. Yes, Carlos they are. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Are they Carlos and Anna? Yes, they are. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good job. Uh, yes, Jose Correa, one example. Mm -hmm. Are Yvette and Carlota friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Okay, are Yvette and Carlota friends? Yes, they are. Very good. Very good. Uh, yes, Grisia, one example. Uh, uh -huh. One example. Okay. Um, is pink his favorite colors? His favorite, favorite, uh-huh. Favorite, favorite. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is pink his favorite color in the answer? Um, I don't, I like red. No, it's not, okay? I like red, okay? Or he likes red. Porque como decía his, como se refiere a otra persona, his pink, his favorite color, es el rosa, su color favorito. Ajá. Ajá. No, it's not, sería. No, no lo es. Ajá. Ajá. It's red. Y ahí puede decir it's red. Excellent. Very good. Ajá, yes. Y un último example, ya para finalizar, Luz Angélica. Okay, um, are you an international chef? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Good job. Excellent participants. Very good. Did you practice today? ¿Practicaron algo nuevo ahora? Yes. 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 Ok. Uh, do you feel you are progressing? ¿Sienten que van mejorando poco a poco? Do you feel you are progressing? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very good. Great. I just want to give you an invitation. Solo quiero pedirles algo. Eh, pues bueno, eh, tengo que entregar sus notas de esta primera semana. Entonces sé que algunos no han podido completar sus tareas por cuestiones de tiempo. Solo les pido de que si lo hagan, tienen hasta ahora, ¿verdad? Para terminarlas, las cuatro tareas de la semana. Por lo menos eso, que es como que lo más necesario, ¿verdad? Si algunos han hecho una, otros dos. Recuérdense que eso es, es, es importante, ¿verdad? Que ustedes las cumplan porque es su nota. So, eh, I recommend you to please. Eh, recomiendo, por favor, que lo revisen, please. Revisen bien eso y, y lo terminan ahora ya para poder ingresar esas notas que a ustedes les, les han quedado pendientes, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. esas tareas. Teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes, Carla. En el hey, caso teacher. de que mi correo no tiene la contraseña genérica, siempre puede ver lo que yo he hecho, la, que yo haya completado las tareas o algo. Si tiene la, sí, yo tengo el registro de todos, ajá. 
¿Sí? Ah, aunque no tenga esa contraseña. No. Ah, ok. Gracias. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Entonces les invito, por favor, recuérdense que eso es parte de sus notas. Y ahora, ¿verdad? Es fecha límite. Lo siento, me encantaría darle más tiempo, pero eso, ¿verdad? Prioridad, que ustedes completen sus, sus actividades, ¿ok? Y vamos a buscar una manera para llevarlo más ordenado la próxima semana, little by little. Luz. No, it's ok. Ok, it's ok. Perfect. Bien, ya no lo robo más tiempo. Happy weekend. Feliz fin de semana. Enjoy Thank your you and evening. You too. Thank you. So, bye bye. Take good care. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Happy evening. Happy evening for you. Don't forget your homework, please. Your homework, mm -hmm. your assignment. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Vas a ocupar la computadora. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, bye bye, take care. Have a good um, day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so Roberto, uh, this um, student participant, Roberto Oswaldo, he is the one, well, he was supposed to be the one having the individual interview today, but unfortunately he couldn't be in the class. So we're going to take this time to practice once again, to check more examples, right, of what, uh, uh, what we develop in these sessions related to the negative and affirmative statements, right? Uh, let me give you some examples, and I'm going to start with this one. He is not, an architect uh, or let's say an engineer, right? He is not an engineer. So I am using a negative structure in here. And uh, we may also say he is a what? An English facilitator or teacher or instructor as you want to call it, right? So this is really nice because we have the opportunity to describe, to create examples using both, right? Affirmative and um, negative, right? He is not negative. How do we know that this is negative? Of course, because we're using not, right? That is the first, uh, the first thing we, we have in here, not. Um, He's not an engineer, he is an English facilitator. We can also say, for example, just to give you some examples, Kevin is an English teacher, but he is not a French teacher, right? Or my mom, my mother is a chef, but she is not a what? She is not a baker. That means she does not prepare a uh, pastries and, and delicious um, uh, pieces, right, of, of bread. No, she doesn't do that. Um, like that, we express negative and affirmative statements using the simple present, using the verb be. We are students of beginners one. We are English speakers, right? We are Italian students. They are not, for example, they are not a computer teachers. They are not psychologists. Mm -hmm. And that's how we use, right? Both affirmative and negative statements, mm -hmm. yes. And with the questions, well, with the questions, it's really easy because we just have to change the position of the verb to be, right? Are you an engineer? Is he, for example, we have that example. He is not an engineer. So we twist it, we transform that, right? And we say, he is not an engineer, 
he is an engineer, is he an engineer? And we respond, we provide the answer. Yes, he is. No, he isn't, right? Is he a doctor? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Are you my friend? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Mm -hmm. So that is when we have, right, the um, negative statements, affirmative statements, and we also have the questions, right? Well, with the alphabet, we also practiced in this week the alphabet, and it was nice because we learned the correct pronunciation of the words, right? We practice by saying A, B, C, like the sun pretty much. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So we spelled some of the words, for example, engineer. It's E, N, G, I, N, E, E, R. Or more complex words like facilitator. They are like this. Well, this is like this one. Uh, F, A, C, I, L, I, T, A, T, O, R, facilitator. In English, E, N, G, L, I, S, H, right? Facilitator, right? E, just like that, right? Just to give you like an idea. Mm -hmm. He is an English facilitator. He is not an engineer. Examples of statements, the spelling of the words, the alphabet, and yeah, the yes and no questions. Those are some of the topics that we practice in this week. And we uh, use vocabulary of occupations, the nouns, right? Uh, the possessive adjectives to express possessions, right? My house, your house, his house, her house, our houses, their houses, right? So that is pretty much something simple, but meaningful of what we practice today, yes. So yeah, basically that's what we did in this week. Very interesting because we learned new vocabulary expressions like the ones we practice today at the beginning of the class in more, right? More ideas related to, to vocabulary that it's gonna be useful for us. Okay, so yeah, that's all. Uh, Oswaldo could not be here, but still we have uh, this, well, thank God we have this time for having this quick review, right? Related to the topics we studied. So see you next week, have a good, evening everyone and take good care so bye bye